In this video, you will learn how to make a line graph in Microsoft Excel from multiple data series. Currently, you can see here I have generated this line graph from this set of data. It is the data about the effect of temperature on emulsion size. Currently, you can see here first column shows the storage days and rest of three columns shows the effect of different temperature on nano emulsion size. This column shows the effect of 55 degree centigrade. This one shows the effect of 25 degree centigrade and last column shows the effect of 4 degree centigrade. Currently, you can see here this graph contains more than one line, so it is also called multiple line graph. So let's learn how to generate this line graph in Microsoft Excel. Firstly, I will select all this data with headers. After selecting this data, go to Insert tab. And here you will find the option of recommended charts. Select this one. Go to All Charts option. From here, I will choose Line Graph. Now you will find two options. First one is the line graph without marker and second one is the line graph with marker. You can choose any of this option. I want to insert line graph with marker so I will choose this option. If you are interested to insert line graph without marker you can choose this option. So I will choose this one. From here you can select a line graph, select this one. You currently you can see here that the in this graph the x-axis data is not correctly plotted so I will select this one click on it now you can see here it is selected click on OK now you can see here Microsoft Excel has correctly plotted the graph I will place it here and using these handles I will resize it If you select this graph and go to chart design option, you will find multiple options. Currently, you can see here it is the option of quick layout. Select this one and you can choose any layout according to your requirement. Similarly, here is the option of change color. You can select any color scheme. Here is the option of chart styles. Click here and you can select any style according to your requirement. Now you will learn how to conditionally format this graph according to your requirement. Select this graph. At the corner you will find the option of plus sign which is the chart element option. Click on this. You will find different options. I want to insert axis title in this graph so I will select this one. I don't want these grid lines so I will deselect this option. After doing that click here. Now you will learn how to edit this chart title and axis title. Select this one. Put equal sign in formula bar, select the cell which contains title and press enter. Now you can see here we have successfully added this title. Now select this y axis title and manually write title in formula bar. After that press enter. Similarly select x axis title. Put equal sign. And select the cell which contain title. Press enter. Now you will learn how to format this chart title and axis title. Select chart title. And from here you can select the color of this text. I will bold it. And select the size. Similarly, select Y axis title, bold, black color and from here I will choose the size 11. Now instead of formatting all these, I will select this one, double click on this format vendor option and I will just click and it will be formatted like this one. Click here, click here. Similarly, click on Legends. Now you can observe that we have successfully formatted this one. After that, deselect this Format Vendor option. Now you will learn how to adjust the minimum and maximum value in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here the minimum value in our data is 119, and in this graph, the minimum value is 0. To increase the visibility of this graph, I will change the y axis values. Select this one, right click. Go to format axis option and from here I will change minimum value to 115 instead of 0. Click here. 
Android 115. Similarly, I want to change the maximum value to 220 instead of 250. Click here and write 220. Click on this sheet. Now you can observe that minimum and maximum values are changed now. I will close this one. Again, click on this Y axis values. Right click. Go to Format Axis option and go to Fill and Line option. From line, select Solid line. From here, you can choose the color of this line. I will choose black color. And from width, you can adjust the width of this line. I will choose 1.5 pt. Now, go to this axis option and scroll down. Here you will find the option of tick marks, select this one, further scroll down, measure type tick marks outside. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted major tick marks. Now I will insert minor tick marks. Click here and select outside. Now you can observe that minor type tick marks are already inserted. Now click on this X axis values. Go to fill and line option. From here, I will again select solid line, black color, and 1.5 pt width. Similarly, go to axis option to insert tick marks. Measure type outside and minor type outside. After that, I will close this one. Now you will learn how to change the color of this line. Select this one. Currently you can see here first line is selected. Right click. Go to format data series option. From here go to fill and line option. In line option select solid line. From here you can choose the color of this line. I will choose red color. And from here you can adjust the width of this line. I will adjust 2 pt. Now click on second line. You can observe that second line is selected. Again click on solid line. From here select the line color. I will choose green color for this line. And from here you can adjust the width of this line. I will choose 2 pt. Similarly click on third line. And from here I will choose solid line. Select the color of line. I will choose purple and adjust the width of this line to PT. Now you will learn how to edit the markers of this line graph. Click on any marker. Now you can see here all marker of one data series are selected. Place your cursor on the marker. Right click. Go to format data series. I will place it here. Go to fill and line option. From here you will observe two options. First one is the line and second one is the marker. You have already learned how to conditionally format this line. So I will choose marker option to edit the markers. In marker you will find the option of marker option. Select this one. From here, I will choose build in. Select the type of marker. I will choose this one. From here, you can select the size of this marker. Scroll down. Click on fill option. From here, I will choose solid fill. I will choose the marker color red, similar to line. If you scroll down, you will find the option of border. I will select no line. If you want to insert border, you can use this option. Now click on second line and repeat this procedure. Marker option. Select marker. From here I will choose marker option. 
build in i will choose this one from here i will adjust the size of this marker scroll down solid fill and i will select the green color if you want to insert a marker from here you can select solid line from here you can select the color of this border for example i will choose black and you can even adjust the width of this marker using this option i am not interested to insert border so i will select no line and i will select last line third one and repeat this procedure go to marker option from here choose marker options select build in select the type of markers select the size scroll down select solid fill choose the color of this fill purple scroll down from here i will choose no line i will close this one click here now you can see here we have successfully generated a line graph select the legend place your cursor on this line when four arrow sign appear drag it to your favorite location i will place it here click on this plot area and using these handles you can adjust the dimension of this graph so by following this tutorial you can easily generate a line graph in microsoft excel and conditionally format it according to your requirement that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye